Hey folks, Will Brink at www.brinkzone.com uh, Question I wanted to uh, address today that I get in emails often is on loading creatine. Um, there seems to be some confusion there and I'm going to cover that quickly. So, uh, The reason people think they need to load is to the original studies uh, scientists thought that you would need to load to uh, raise tissue levels of creatine and creatine phosphate and then go on a maintenance dose and that was pretty much the old school way of looking at it uh, and so a lot of people still follow it. Uh, later studies that came out basically found that you would reach the same uh, tissue levels if you simply took a, the maintenance dose for a longer period of time. So instead of uh, a loading dose for uh, a week and then followed by a maintenance dose you would simply take the maintenance dose of uh, about three to five grams and it just takes longer, about 30 days or so uh, to reach that saturation versus the loading. Now that, by doing that, by simply taking the maintenance dose, you obviously uh, eliminate some of the, again, the GI problems that some people experience on loading and again see the uh, prior videos on properly uh, mixing uh, creatine because that will definitely have an effect on GI problems if you want to load, but uh, that will obviously saves money. Uh, a lot of companies, of course, didn't really change their uh, recommendation on that because they want you to, uh, you know, load a whole bunch of creatine for a week, use it up faster. So there's no real reason for them to change uh, that advice per se. So loading is not needed, apparently. Now some people anecdotally report it. they think they feel creatine more when they do a loading phase, but again, that might just be more. It's a more dramatic effect, of course. You know, if you put on again four or five, six pounds in a week, you're going to feel that. So, and if you put on that same amount of weight or so over, say, 30 days, it's, you're just not going to notice it as much. So it's probably more uh, that issue. But you never know. Uh, you know, there are various ways of uh, going about it. Some people will reload, you know, a couple times a year. But uh, there's not any real science to this. So uh, the, basically my advice at this point is uh, don't worry about loading. Take the maintenance dose of about 3 to 5 grams uh, properly uh, mixed. Again, see the other videos and you'll be all set as far as uh, getting the benefits of creatine. And I'll see you on the Brink Zone. And for more information on creatine and other topics, head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog, more videos, free reports on fat loss, muscle building supplementation, fitness, health, longevity, as well as a ton of other articles, and my free weekly newsletter. And I'll see you guys at the Brink Zone.